Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> We will work together to better our town. We all have an equal voice. We may disagree, but we will do so with civility and respect because in the end, we are all neighbors. We'll start with the announcements. Uh, the golf outing is this Friday. May 19th at 9 a.m. Joe, do you want to give a rough outline since Chuck isn't here? Yeah, we are having a golf outing, uh, second annual spring golf outing. Um, we have roughly 40 golfers. Um, breakfast is being supplied by Sam's Club, uh, and it will consist of fruit, pastries, juice, and coffee. Um, then what will happen is uh, we will line up the golfers during that during that, that breakfast time because not everybody is coming as a foursome. So we'll line everybody up. Hi, Hi Maria. Hi. And then what will happen is after they're done golfing, maybe I should back up. They're going to check in and they're going to get their given. You're fine there. That's okay. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Start off here. I'll check in. Get the gift bags. Um, gift bags were supplied by Chuck Jackson from. Uh, State Farm Insurance. The t shirts were donated. The main sponsor this year is U.S. Mortgage. Uh, they gave us uh, money to pay the fees uh, for the, the golf course. Um, as I said, Sam's Club is going to supply breakfast. We're going to golf at 10 o'clock. Uh, at 12 o'clock, we have pizza that's been donated by Pizza Rama. Uh, we'll have pizza or salad, and we'll have drinks that were also donated by Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. There will be prizes that have been donated by both Bones and Dix uh, for you know the winners, and we'll have some giveaways from the Fade. Uh, Sir Pizza has given away gift certificates. Pizza Row is giving away gift certificates. And I believe you've gotten some gift certificates from. Yeah, some coupons from for like $25 off and personal training from Anytime Fitness. Can you down on time fitness. Didn't you get something from shooters too? Not yet. I'm going to have to come in tomorrow, but I think that that should happen. We are doing very well as far as sponsorships this year. Uh, we're about where we were last year. We had very little drop off. But you know everything that we are making is gravy. So, is our participation about the same? Different participation is up probably a couple of picks. Well, yeah, I do remember last year we had bad weather both in the fall and in the spring. Yeah, rain that really, that we have rained both times. We expect good weather this time, so yeah, we won't have right. people dogging on at the last minute. And does registration start at nine or nine thirty? Nine o'clock. No. Okay. Registration breakfast start at nine. This from registration we start making the forces. Okay. okay. Any question? You have no volunteers for yeah. yeah, Benita is gonna be there. Libby Blackbird. I'll be there. Dawn. I think Anne too. Okay. And Amy said that she was gonna stop over. Amy Seal? Yeah. Okay. And Libby will be here. Okay. Yeah, we should look at that. What time will clean up the Probably about 12 30. Yeah. One o'clock. Uh, the, 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 nice thing, the nice thing about the skull outing is it's not an all day event. Mm -hmm. And the corporate people really like it because it takes up the morning, but it doesn't take up an entire day. Mm -hmm. And it's 
quite frankly, it's a, it's a nice quick hit of, of revenue for us. Well, before we get to the um, movie drive-ins in June, I'll talk about May 20th of Saturday, Treasures in the Trunk, and that's from 8 to noon in the parking lot here. So they have 40 people registered um, to bring cars, which is awesome. They're going to park them in the middle, head to head, and then have the selling space on either side of the parking lot here. They're going to ask people to park in um, the town hall parking lot and use the bridge to come over and shop. Um, so we do have some handicap spots here in the front. I think that's um, needed, but for the most part, all the parking will be over there, and hopefully this will be all filled with vendors of some sort. So we'll be open that morning um, at 8 when the sale starts. I have um, some items from the basement, mainly books, um, to put out on the table. You could fill up one of those. I was thinking of using one of Chuck's state farm bags buy them for a dollar and fill up your bag with books and take them away. We, we have uh, there's quite a wide variety yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So um so I was gonna set up a table probably on the lawn um and then we'll have the bathrooms here available for the, the shoppers. I wasn't able to get a coffee truck um to come but we're gonna point people to chubs across the street. Excuse me. Yes. Why don't we get the coffee Maker town hall and yeah. have coffee in the vestibule. We can do that too. Yeah, you know, sell it, sell a cup of coffee for a buck. It's yeah. revenue. Yeah. And quite frankly, if we get a, it doesn't take anything to make a forty. A forty. We have to do everything we need downstairs. Too. Yeah, but we don't. What we don't have is the big coffee maker that's in the works. I think we still do. We do. Maybe. The one we just make our own coffee. And you know what? Why don't we actually call Panera or Sid mm -hmm. and get some data? Oh, you know what? And Speaking of Sid, I'm going to pick up donations from Panera on Friday and or Saturday morning. So we'll use those um, for Saturday and on Friday. I'm going to do it. Well, we're fine for Friday. Yes, we have over 100 days. I mean, we can get away with it. Yes. What I'm saying is, is if we got the donations from Panera for Saturday, we yeah. actually make some money. Well, we're not technically allowed to sell them because they were information to us. We could we could do like a donation cup. Like what you talking yes. about, Willis? <laughs> Pretty sure that's the that's the policy. You Ooh. can't sell it. Are you kidding? We 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 sell hot dogs at the car crash. <laughs> we sell we sell cans of pop. They're donated. Okay, well we can have a suggested donation bin. We I, I okay. You can do it either way. You can do it suggested donation. Yeah, yeah that makes you say it, but I mean if somebody doesn't need the donation, don't give them like the donor. We are recognized as a non profit by the time of Right. Well, all right. Non profits can sell them. Well, good to know. Then I'll have a table with coffee. I'll ask Sid if he can give us some hot water anyway, and we can figure something out. That'd be great. What? Hot water. Do I pay? No, oh, coffee. Oh, you, you, you get the coffee maker. You plug in a coffee maker back there. Get <laughs> okay. any coffee. Okay. You have a great fun. I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what about That's the cops? Yeah, I think we have the cops. We have the cops downstairs too. I'm um, Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Okay, um, and then to conclude for this weekend, May 21st, the Ambulance Authority is having an open house from noon to three, I believe. Um, so would you be able to come at noon? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be open because they'll be using our parking lot. So it might be nice to have people stop in. Yeah, sure. so, yeah. Um, okay, so jumping back up to the drive-ins. Um, at the beginning of this year, we had tentatively scheduled one for May, but because of the presence of the mulch pile, um, we were afraid that it wouldn't be gone by that time. So 
would be great seats on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I think they much sure they are, but that's okay. So it is it is gone. Thank you, Jeff, and to um, his group for yeah. cleaning that up this week. To that point, can can I just interject something? Here yeah. Ms. Zazarek, Jeff Shaman and his crew have done a great job of, of keeping this place. Yeah, it does look nice. It's, it's never looked better. I mean, I mean, it looked good when we did the landscaping last year, but he's done a great job of keeping up this facility. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we are going to do the drive-in in June, June 15th, which is a Saturday. You tell me what movie you want. I know, I'm sorry. I We do have to choose a movie um, and then get that ball rolling. So that'll be... Uh, will our next meeting be before that or after? Be after that one. We have to choose. We have to actually choose now because they need a two-week. Yeah. Wait, June 15th and 3rd is, is the first. So this is the 17th, right? 17th, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we can do that. Um, if I might make a suggestion, the first one, the first movie should be all my kids. Yes. And I think maybe the Lego movie or Toy Story 4. Yes. With cartoons, I have it. Mm -hmm. The second one, I think, ought to be a classic movie. So we get a wider variety of people, whether that be as a black dog or it be, you know, an older type movie. Mm -hmm. So we get a different crowd. Okay. The third one I would suggest be an old time Disney movie. You know, since it's going to be in August, whether it be about football or something else, there's a movie called Gus. But it doesn't fit the field called Disney movie. <laughs> Um, if you're thinking of a classic movie, um, I would consider um, The Wizard of Oz just because they're coming out with a live action movie of Wicked later in August. So there's probably a, at least a little bit of buzz surrounding The Wizard of Oz prior to the Wicked movie coming out. That's a good suggestion. Do they have Wizard of Oz? No. I, I don't know. I'd have to check. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'd have to check, but I, I have to believe that it's part of their classics. Yeah. I'd rather watch that. Stuff. Yeah, maybe. You want color or cast of light? You know what? You know, parts of you know I think Wizard of Oz would appeal to all of like, yes. you know, even kids yeah. and older people. But you know what? I, I want something. Scary. Scary. The Wizard of Oz. You know what? It is scary. It is scary. <laughs> Scary to like the middle of it. And once they get to Oz, it's scary. Better than Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, though. That freaked me out. <laughs> well, when you say classic, I'm thinking like Cinderella's and Beauty. And the I, 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 I actually don't want to do a cartoon because it's not long enough. That's not a cartoon. Oh, yeah, it's animated. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't look like a cartoon, though. Well, it's, it's, it's too short. Cinderella? Yeah, it's only about an hour and 10 minutes long. Oh, okay. So, um, well, we'll we'll pass around the um, because that that link you sent me had all of the offerings that we could get. It's unbelievable. I mean, yeah, he for three thousand offerings. Really? The only thing is, I mean, I'm not going to show the exercises. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I think what we have to do is we have to make sure it's family friendly. We have to make sure that it's going to appeal to a wide audience. But along those lines, Madam Chairperson, mm -hmm. you know, the concession stand will be open down below. Mm -hmm. We're going to sell hot dogs, we're going to sell pop, we're going to sell cookies, we're going to sell bags of chips, and got somebody to donate garbage bags full of popcorn with a popcorn machine that we can pump it on your mind. Yes, we can do that. Yeah. So I, I really think that this could be a great event. A, a, I also great series an ice cream truck. Is that a an ice cream truck? Yeah. As long as it's not milk, it's not good. No, it's not. It's like like ice cream bars. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. But you don't want to have but you don't want to have soft. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um moving on. <laughs> 
Public comment on agenda items. I have a question. Maybe I didn't hear it at the beginning. Um, sponsorships for the golf fund. How much money do you have? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have, have we have about five grand before. But what we've done, Marianne, in the past is we have our main sponsor sponsor the golf course. Then we have another sponsor that sponsors the lunch. We have another sponsor that sponsors uh, like the Chuck Jacks that sponsored all the gifts. Uh, that, and that's a state farm agency. Uh, so we do a lot of in-kind donations. We do have tea sponsors that are $100 a piece. Mm -hmm. Do people pay for this? Yes, $25 a golfer. And raise your anticipated revenue. This year. What was it last year? It was like four? Probably, yeah, about four grand. Okay, thanks. Could be more this year. It it could be. And you know what? I'm expecting some people that will walk in. I mean, we, we, whether or not people show up, the fortunes are paid for. So, you know, we, we've gotten Gateway Engineering, we've gotten the Farian Company, we've gotten Jason Singer's two companies, we've got my company, Chuck uh, Ironman's company. You have a, a variety of different people. You have a key bank. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have a, a, a lot of participation throughout the town. Thanks. Sure. Um, reading and approval of previous meetings minutes. You sent those this time, right? Yes. Okay. Did anyone have any changes? No. We're only really up to date as far as March, people in the bank post. I was going to steal Abby's notes and use those. <laughs> it's just. I make a motion that we approve the notes. From March, right? From March. Okay. Second All motion. in favor? Aye. Okay. I approve that we utilize uh, Abby's notes as the meeting minutes for April. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, Abby's reports on subcommittees. Joe, do you want to speak in for Chuck about the sign? Okay, on there's a twelve thousand dollar payment that has been made to the sign company. We've asked them not to start construction until after this weekend because of obviously the inherent obstructions that you can have. We're expecting them to come in and finish the sign within one week. Really? Yes. They're going to trench from where the sign is going to be into the basement. They're going to attach, they're doing all the electrical work, and they're putting three electrical keys one for the sign itself, and two for future lighting for the parking lot. Nice. Okay. Um, they're, they selected the block for the, for the pedestal of the sign that matches the block here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to look uniform. And you've all seen the sign forever. Have you seen the sign? Are we using the existing logo on the top? Thing? You know, Jen yeah. emailed me about that yesterday. Well, well, here they were asking about Here's the thing. I think that we need to do that now. We can change it out. Did we move in a different direction? It's just a uh, piece of plastic. That's all it is. The two sided? The, is that yeah. All the sides? It's, there's two sides to this time. Okay. So that graphic will probably be. The graphic will be double, one on each side. And as per agreement, uh, with the previous town council, uh, all the printing will be black and white. It won't be color as of yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. A twelve thousand dollar payment was made. Uh, I probably want to thank the MIDA mm -hmm. for their donation of the sign. 
Um, there's a $12,000 payment that's been paying. There'll be a second $12,000 payment. And then the final payment will be made 30 days after installation. And that will be for $11,000 in change. Are there any questions? So are they hoping to start this next week? They're hoping to, yes. Okay. Is it dependent on weather? Yes, but it's important to understand that everything's been approved by RJ in town administration. So we're ready to go. You mean that we're going to put a new one up at 80, you know, it's going to be about a week. Yeah, it's going to take three or four days. The same, the same size and big. Yeah. Well, that'll be very exciting. Can't wait to, to take a lot of the campaign. Come on, <laughs> oh boy. Um, the gala. Do you want to talk about that? Or yes, I'd love to talk about that. I think we should we should plan uh, a planning meeting for the gala to talk about details too. Mm -hmm. What? It's okay, never mind. <laughs> That horse is out of the room. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. We have done quite a bit on the day one. We have a DJ. We have our uh, master mistress of ceremonies. Um, we have the awardees. Uh, Pam Serrano from Channel 2. Is going to be our mistress of ceremonies. As you know, Pam had, has a daughter that was injured in a gymnastics accident a year ago. And she's kind of like Brian C. He's here. Mm -hmm. He's working her way back. She's trying to walk again. Mm -hmm. Pam's been a, a, a very good friend mm -hmm. uh, and has been in this facility at least three times. So with her daughter too. So, um, you know, I thought it a natural to ask Pam to do this. Um, you know, the, the customary fee for that is $300 and we approved that at the last meeting. So um, I have every indication that we're gonna get that back in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. um, there is a DJ that has been Contacted, and he happens to be one of the volunteer firemen, and he is going to um, give us uh, a price. But I would anticipate, I mean, he's already saved the date. Mm -hmm. The awards have been ordered. Um, we have our list of, of awardees. Marianne, you know the list of awardees, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel very comfortable. We have a timeline. We've had assignments. Kevin, you and Abby are working on the program. Uh, all of us were going to have to make at least four or five businesses that we do business with or that have sponsored and go out and solicit you know, paychecks. When do we want to start selling tickets? We want to start selling tickets July 1st. We want to give everybody the opportunity to get four or five months. In. I've even already purchased the tickets that I'm going to donate, and we can run through a we can run through a, an ancient printer. Okay. We've already given a down payment to mm -hmm. the Chadwick. We have until 30 days prior to, to up our number. We are guaranteeing them right now 160. We're almost beyond that. That's the tables that we've gotten from Gateway, from SSB Bank, from my family. We've already gotten commitments from the Kelly family, the Othmans. Uh, forget about the firefighters. I mean, there's going to be Probably all the fire companies are going to be represented. And I know I can go to for this money. For deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, North Allegheny, Libby has already committed that they're going to get at least one table. They may get two for um, Mr. McLaughlin. 
So, I mean, we're well on our way. I expect this to be a sellout. I expect it to be 300 people. Yeah, I'm excited. Now, there are other aspects to this. We have some people that are willing to give us gift baskets. Mm -hmm. uh, the fade shop is going to give us a gift basket as well as you know buying tickets. Mm -hmm. um, Sir Pizza is going to give us a gift basket. We're getting gift baskets from a bunch of different businesses. It's part of our small games and chance license. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to put chances on each one of those mm -hmm. baskets in the lobby. Mm -hmm. I would like to do that. Mm -hmm. I want to maximize the ability to make money on this. This game needs to be our big deal for the year. Yeah. Um, you probably need to put together some sort of spec sheet or something to help us on the ads. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just have the ads. Can you just have the ads? If you guys can do that, that would be a great help. And I, I mean, Did you see my like, sponsorship logo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be just here. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah. I'd like to help with or do the donation raffle basket items. I could do that. Okay. Um, and then our small games and chance license, I think, needs to be renewed in June. So yeah. I'm just saying that out loud to remind myself. And then also, I think we have to get some sort of like we to get a special way. Yeah, to to be able to raffle it off off site. Okay. Can I? <laughs> Just there. <laughs> um, so when we, I guess when we renew in June, we'll ask about that waiver. It's a twenty-five dollar waiver. I know exactly what we have. Okay. Can we get it in June, or do we have to get it closer to the day? Uh, we can get it in June as long as long as it's in the year. Okay. That we have our small games and chances. We know it. It covers. I'd like to cover it for the day before and the day. Mm -hmm. So if we're selling tickets beforehand, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, program on the history of the Hill District. It's now set for July 20th. Yes, I'm excited about that. And I need to bring a motion in front of this body to allow for a $250 honorarium uh, for the August Wilson Center to do this program on August Wilson and the history of the Hill District. Can I have a motion for that? I have a motion that we uh, $250 honorary for uh, the August Wilson Center to come and put on this uh, presentation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you for making that connection for us. Yes. Um, the art show. Before, before we go any further, yeah. while it's on my mind, there's a gentleman that was at the election yesterday that is an incredible wealth of knowledge. His name is Larry Schweiger. Mm -hmm. And he was part of the National Wildlife Federation. Mm -hmm. He's actually the head of it. He's been involved in in, um, in, in um, the ecology, uh, and he's been involved with the environment. He's been a huge proponent of environmental causes. I would like this permission from you guys to approach him about giving us a, a presentation, because he's done it many times. He's worked with the gas and oil industry, He's worked with EV, electric vehicles. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable to talk to. Mm -hmm. And his daughter just happens to be on our top council. Right. He's an incredible guy. And he's, a he's, a mechanic. He, he's a mechanical resident. And yeah, he was, I mean, he was at my polling place. And, and it didn't matter to me that it was something for somebody else. This guy was incredible. And I think he did the perfect here. He lives. Right. right about the news for them. Okay. Okay. All right. And he was the um, director of the environmental agency under the Thornburg and Jack administration mm -hmm. at the state government. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, got his national prize to. Is it? He's a great 
And you know what? I asked Carolyn for his number and she was caught up yesterday. I find it caught up. So I know I'll be able to get a hold of Larry through Carolyn. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think it would be an exciting thing. Yeah. 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 Well, last night we had the EAC host their presentation on solar energy here. And I was talking to Judy Bishop, who is the chair of the EAC. Um, and they also do a lecture series. And we were talking last night about how we could do more things together. So that would be a perfect thing to do. And then I also mentioned to her about the Nike missile site presentation, which is in August, and how Katie Stanley from Low to Dobby is going to lead a um, hike after that presentation to go see the um, Nike missile sites. So uh, we've got to be I careful. Can, what? North Allegheny owns the property, so we have to go through that. But this is the this is the one in the park. This is oh, the okay. you're, you're not talking about the one next to her. No, back. okay. No, I'm yeah. the one up here. Okay. Yes, the yes. Fence. So you can only go to the fence. Um, but I was talking to Judy about how you know we can do more things like that together because our our demographic of people who come to our lectures are maybe not going to take a twilight hike in the woods um, with a flashlight, but maybe the EAC's members would be interested in coming to that presentation and also going on the hike. So there's different ways we could work together. Abby, you want to uh, include maybe Jeff or Herm Marshall, one of the firefighter captains, okay, for the solar panels so they can talk about the safety. That actually, the solar presentation happened last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said you were having it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually an interesting point. They would, yeah. Well, they're probably going to be something not soon about EV cars and solar again. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I heard Jeff talk about that. It's impossible, almost impossible to put out a fire with an EV in, in, in electronic. If yeah. it's in your house, it's very dangerous. If it's charging in your house, it's very dangerous. And if you have an entire roof of solar panels, they can't go on it right. because it's hot. Yeah. So if they can't vent the roof, your house can burn. Yeah. So, you know, it's stuff that you need to you need to think about because there's green and there's green, you know? Yeah. So, well, well, back because she was asking me, like, they they like to have a lecture series too, but they didn't have anyone lined up. So she was asking how we'd come up with different ideas. So that'd be a great tie together there. There's something with EV or even with Larry. Yeah. Maybe have somebody like Jeff or mm -hmm. probably Jeff. Okay. With Larry, we might be able to get Elon Musk to come in and have him talk. <laughs> he knows all those guys. Yeah, he's well programmed at the end. It's a problem. Oh, it's so interesting to talk to. Okay, so the I want to get back to that. Uh, we had interest from every high school in North Allegheny. So, North Allegheny is in kind of a turmoil right now where they're searching for a new leader. So, their priorities are different than ours at this particular point. Mm -hmm. Like to put that off yeah. until next year. Okay, I think that's fair. Transition. Well, you know what? The assistant principal of the high school, TJ Salafak, called six weeks ago before our last meeting. He said, yeah, I'll make sure it happens. I'll get with you. The secretary called me two weeks ago and said, here is the email address of the art teacher. The administration's kind of up right now. I emailed the art teacher. She's like, I don't have any time to do this right now. Mm -hmm. So... You know, we made every effort to do it, yeah, and it was an honest effort. It's, you know, oh, we didn't do it for the school year. We were going to do it for the May three May twelve. Okay, so that, yeah, that is a problem. That would have been a well. Yes. You know, what we tried to do is to coincide it with their art show and have some of their some of their stellar artists come in and have Pine Richmond and have mm -hmm. Hampton. Some of the other schools, but it didn't make sense to have the other schools if we weren't going to have more than we So we say next year, you mean September, you don't mean 24. No, no, no. Well, I, I mean, their art show is in the spring. In the spring, okay. So yeah. it's 20, 20, so okay. it'll be 24. 25. 24. 
solidified the performance of BB Steel, the band. Um, the Allegheny Brass Band will be performing during the fireworks. The fireworks are set to go. We um, got the price from the Allegheny Brass Band yet. Yeah, we did. I got an invoice the other day. What? Same as last year. 825. It was 80. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of money for 30 minutes. Wow. <laughs> I know. Um, so what else? We've got rides, we've got a like bouncy house slide thing. Um, this year we're doing an axe mobile axe throwing from lumberjacks. And yeah, uh, lum lumber axes, lumberjacks. I and I had the idea that we're gonna beer truck, but it's <laughs> it's actually met with mixed reviews. I think everybody's worried about the liability, so we're gonna leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sorry, there used to be a beer truck at PNC Functions. They had a picnic every year and they always bring in a beer truck. Mm -hmm. and then there was an unfortunate incident and there was no more beer trucks. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. There's always it's about, how those things been happen. on for like you know, 20, 30 years. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, that's what happened to our Christmas party in the office. Yeah. It was yeah. <laughs> what I said happened here was that the firefighters would all have, they go through the crane and they'd have beer behind the DPW. Well, that doesn't work out well either. So well, if they want to sneak it, that's on like, them. Yeah, it's like, like on somebody else. Like, yeah. a building. <laughs> so no new like updates on that. Um as more information. Well wait a minute, let's talk about the parade for a minute. Oh sure. The parade is going to be the first parade that we've had here in about five years. At 2:30, we are going to line up and rape sentiments, we're sending out notification, all the elected officials. We've already gotten commitment from Rich Fitzgerald. We've gotten commitment from Marvin Benchat, Lindsey Williams, um, Suzanne Filiagi. We're sending it out to town council. We're sending it out to the North Delaware Bay School Board, the sitting members, not new members, not anybody that's running. We are at uh, North Allegheny, we got commitment from the North Allegheny Band. We got commitment from the North Allegheny Athletic Department to have all the sports teams from grade seven through nine march in the parade. We have three dance studios. We have the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, and we are approaching the garden clubs and the civic organization. But that's, that's what we're trying to do. We have the firemen. In addition to the firemen, we have seven convertibles for our VIPs to ride in. We also have three antique fire trucks scheduled to be in to have our other VIPs. The band will ride in the back of a pickup truck and we're gonna go through Sign City to do all the placards for the sides of the cars. It was decided at the last meeting if we're going to have people throw candy from the vehicles, that they have to do it as they walk on the side because we don't want kids to hurt out. That's my report. And also, the car crews will be happening that day at any time, as it has been in the and past. And a lot of us happening in the meeting there. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the middle right now. The break route is coming from Great Cinemas, Don Blazer Drive to Ingemar to Grass. We've already moved. again. And then back to the cinemas? No. I mean, back to, yeah, Town Hall. No. We're, oh, we're back to Town Hall. Town Hall. Okay. 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 And it will end behind the DPW. I'm just wondering how long the street will be closed. That's all. No. <laughs> <laughs> We have, we have four policemen that are dedicated to the parade. One is going to shut off or cut off traffic at the Cloverleaf, meaning, you know, at McKnight Road. 
We have one that is cutting off traffic down here. And uh, we have one that is the other one. And parking. You have to have a police officer there to tell us we can't go on. That one's dead. Yeah. Yeah. And that and now we have one that's going to travel either in front or behind. Right. Yeah. So we have another exit. That's it. Yeah. So, so I I sat with Brian and I have sat with Jeff when we've gone through this. Yeah, just make sure we have it we can yeah. people. What, what we, we're going to do, Mary, we're hoping to have the parade done within 45 minutes. Okay, but it'll close, though. That'll be about an hour and 15 minutes. That's okay. Yeah. It's just you have to have people work around it. They need to get out for an appointment so right. they're not at the bottom of the hill yelling at people. They'll plan it. You know? Yeah. Because we haven't yeah. had a parade in a long time, so it's yeah. going to be a shock. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, that's it on community day okay old business intergovernmental agreement update yes um the intergovernmental agreements that we have drafted are in front of the council listener and will probably be presented to council for their approval i wouldn't think it'll go much before July. It, it, too much for the zoning. You know. Yeah, and, and you know what? I agree with you. I mean, you guys, your 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 dance yeah. cards full of long meetings. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the intergovernmental agreements actually outline the different municipalities having the ability to come in and utilize this space and work together with them to publicize the area. And the whole point, Marianne, is to try to make it more of a regional asset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The version of the 501c3 plan to kill us. Okay. That's part of the meeting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is I can write in, in, in this plan. And, uh, and I were made privy to the information from the McCandless Community Association. Tomorrow there will be a meeting uh, of the remaining members of the board in the 18th. Uh, I'm going to be named to the board and we're going to have a reorganization. Specifically at that time, we are going to talk about how to restructure the bylaws to make it more friendly to the Heritage and Cultural Center and more friendly to the Conway Counties. Um, I've asked Mrs. Eisenreich and Ms. Clue to give me their ideas about what they would like to see in the bylaws. It doesn't guarantee that they're gonna be in there because the bylaws, this organization has to be run separate from the municipality. So there's a different board of directors this is that's all right. Ms. Clinton will have input as to how we write in specific people from the town to be involved. In addition to what I would like to see and that I would bring in front of you, meaning that we have a limited number of voting members and that we have other non voting seats on the board. That gives everybody meaning our municipal friends, the opportunity to sit on the board and to be information only while we run this. Would that be like we're taking seats where we could bring people in? And... Well, I mean, that has yet to be determined and that will be determined by the board of the 501c3. Right. Okay. And yeah, there's something in the bylaws in my friends. Yeah. No, yeah but I mean, they can be changed. They're kind of board of board of the they were really late, but they can usually there's a term, and then the term is limited to how many years and then how many funds. And then and there's a time if you sit out for a year, you can redo that whole kind of thing. So, you know, it's usually all good. I think that's all good. It's not I'm probably, I'm probably change that to be a little bit different. No, I, mean, I don't know if it is like that. That's just normal. And then included in the packet that we got were the, the electronic filings. That are normal in a 501c3, meaning the 990 ends for the uh, IRS filings. 
Then we have the bylaws and the mission statement of the community association. And I'll be calling on different people in this room to try and craft a different mission statement that will adequately or accurately reflect what we're trying to do. You know what, Joe? I didn't get a mission statement. Here you go. Yeah, that wasn't in the one I got. The bylaws have been revised twice. There the uh, I guess the management of the 501c C3 has been changed twice. Um, it's a great vehicle to have as long as it's maintained and it's utilized. Otherwise, it's a waste to have it. I think you would agree. Yeah, but it has been. I mean, following the 501c3, so it should be a record of any meeting minutes somewhere. Um, also, there should be an annual meeting with any nonprofit. I don't know if that exists, but that's just um, a little picky, I guess. And it's been maintained. I mean, as long as you follow the 990, you're, you're fine. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying the, the address on here is incorrect, I believe. And you never use somebody's address, you use a PO box for me. Well, if you look at the revision, it has been revised. I've never seen that. Somebody's to, house to be boxed. <laughs> yeah, box yeah, I have. Really? The McCandless Community Association. The about to change it. <laughs> but yeah, McCandless Community Association is the, it's PO box number three seven. Oh, you did a PO box. Okay, I'm sorry. What is that again? Three seven six Ingomar PA one five one two seven. Yeah. When was that? Uh, this is two thousand and eighteen. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. So that's that's good. So I mean that's better because yeah. then you yeah. can just if people change and they did that for a reason, Mary. I think I know the reason. So that's okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I have. We're working diligently. Um, we did have a copy of the 501c3 boilerplate uh, that we had already crafted to start our own that went to the council of Summer. He approved it, but he said, I'm not gonna present it to council because we decided to go this way. So I have another rewrite to do on this and we will get it in front of this body before it goes to Steve Corbel, and then ultimately goes uh, to the new board of the final C3. It's better to just use that. Takes a long time to get stuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is one other thing I wanted to bring up, and that's fundraising. Um, I'm sorry, are we have new business or old business. You know what? I'm sorry, I didn't take it out of the again. <laughs> I'm just following along. Okay. I guess. Is, would that be new business? I suppose? It would be new business. All right. Mm -hmm. So new business expenditures for the gala. Does that involve fundraising? Uh, we already talked about the the, the gala, and we talked about the fundraising. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, and the only other expenditure that we're going to have to worry about with the gala is going to be we already approved the honorarium. We're going to have to approve at some point when we get the proposal from the DJ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, we're hopeful to get all the centerpieces donated, um, but we will see. If I need to come back, we will come back. The price of the tickets is $75 with cash flow. Okay. And 10 people at a table, it's a $750 table. Did you want to talk about fundraising? Yeah, I did. We have reached out to a lot of philanthropic organizations over the course of the last three months. Abby, that right? Mm -hmm. We are currently uh, in talks with one philanthropic organization to give us a seven figure donation. I don't want to disclose it, you know what it is. But there are people that were closely aligned with Joe Bullock. Mm -hmm. uh, he had an impact on their life. And they are, uh, I, 
I guess you could say they're major stock cores in a very, very large corporation in the United States that they grew up in here. So I will tell you that we are going very hard at fundraising. It's kind of a three-pronged approach, if I may and take a minute. I know that we're almost at the hour, and I want to be respectful of everyone's time. The three-pronged approach is this. We're working hard to get this to be a, a regional asset. We're working hard to get this to be its 501c3, so we attract philanthropic organizations. And we're trying hard to have all these things converge along with the philanthropic organization. So my time is going to be dedicated over the course of the next six months to get all those things finished. So when we talk about 2024, we can follow right along with the strategic plan that we set up last year, and we can start talking to the town about expansion because the fund will be there. We can talk about different uses of this facility because the funds will be there. Essentially, what I'm talking about doing, and I've discussed this with Mike Pearl, is you know, having this organization through the 501c3 lease this building from the town. Well, we have the capabilities of that going to it and doing things in a different fashion. You all know from my discussion with you prior to this, we've had discussions with Google about putting air in the classrooms. We also want to put additional exhibition space here and reallocate the space that we have. We also want to put offices in here. We want to expand the library. We want to put an auditorium. Well, I shouldn't say that an auditorium. Performance space with somewhat of a catering kitchen. So, and that came out in our year-end strategic plan. You guys all had a chance to look at the, the layout of what the architect envisioned. And we had an architect donate his time in order to do that. So, are there any questions? Would we resolve the whole when money comes in, how it would come from? We're in the process of doing that, but here's the thing. When, when we do that now, they, the, the town leaders um, have decided that we're going to do the same thing as what we do now for the next year. Yeah. Okay. Once the 501c3 comes into play, the 501c3 will raise the money and they will grant things to the both the town and to the heritage. What was the potential donation that you spoke about? It would go, it would go through the 501c3 rather than through yes. the existing mm -hmm. Now, the town's not looking for us to repay for the construction of this facility. But I would want, as somebody that the leader with you and the rest of you, I want to see this taken off the tax rates as quickly as we can. I want to take it out of the budget and have us take control of the financing of what happens here. Marianne, that's not happening today. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. But this larger donation, what time frame do we think that's in? Is that in a time frame or is that? No, that has to do with the 501c3. Well, if 501c3 is sitting here. If they're not going to give it to us until we have a 501c3 like that. I think mean, that was a question that I was asking. Okay. And yeah. The, the timeline will be to the advantage of the 501c3. Yes. So, I mean, that's not going to take more than a quarter, like three months to put that in order. I hope so. Well, it's not going through the town council. So, it's only your own board that has to approve it. Well, yeah. But therein lies the rub because. Town Council has said, in order for this organization to align itself with the 501c3, I have to get approval on specific things, like who gets on, who gets on the board. Okay, if the town wants a say as to who gets on the board, then that has to go through Town Council. 
Well, you're more like saying not to lease this facility yes. with the fund and support it with the funds from the 501c3. The town wants some say in it. Well, they want to have you know, this right? one person. They wouldn't have anything to do with the 501c3 if you didn't want to lease this. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Just wanted to clear that, make that clear in my head. But the you town know, being the owner of this asset mm -hmm. is going to want to have somebody on the board of the 501c3 because it doesn't only the 501c3 the way it's the, that it's going to be written doesn't only take into account the heritage and cultural center okay. there are other things that we are going to raise money for right i know i hear, I hear. this isn't while we are we are broadcasting right well it's just being it's not broadcasting it's just being I would assume this potential donation should not be public information. No, it won't be. I, I don't think it should be. I mean, it's just, I thought I'd mention that because I see it, it's up here. Mm -hmm. Can people watch this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? It's a potential donation. I haven't disclosed who it is. Well, and with major stock interest in a national corporation from Ingemar. There's no it's okay. But there's probably 10 or 12 people with major stock. Well, you don't even want to narrow it to 10 or 12 people. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We have something close like that with another nonprofit. And people went to great lengths to identify the donor. Great lengths once they heard it. Well, I understand. Because <laughs> they wanted donations for their own. Profit. Well, I asked you that now too. <laughs> so that's the other thing. Just saying, that. I would take that part out if I read. Like, <laughs> you know what? I, I tried to work with Town Hall. Community day and, and try to get a vendor's list, and they want to be protective of that too. They really wanted to be protective of that. I don't know why. Okay, but I, I mean, apparently a lot of the stuff that's bought by town council is bought off government contract. Well, it probably is. Yeah, I mean, they get a better price. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I I wanted the vendor list to solicit. Yes, yeah, support them. <laughs> Everybody wants that. Anybody have any questions about the 501c3? It is moving along. It's just taking. I mean, there have been a few things that have, as you can see from the files, there have been a few things that have caught my attention. Okay, expenditures for the drive in movie night. That's going to be $300 a movie, right? 305. 305. And it is supposed to be 305 or 50% of the gate, which is which is greater. Can we um, decide on the movie now? I think we should decide on the movie now. And we need to vote on the expenditure so we can ask on the administration. Can we have a, a look at the policy? Good. I wrote that in Toy Story 4. Was that wrong? I like that. I'm sorry. I thought I said, said I know. You walk to this or do you have to drive? No, I mean, you can actually come here and walk and put your lawn chair out. Yeah. As long as you had a radio that tunes to 87.7 or 87.9. Okay. Because the way that this is going to work. At the bottom of our walkway, there will be a screen. Okay. Behind the screen is a projector. Uh, the projector will show the movie mm -hmm. from either a computer or from an apparatus like a disc player. We have to decide whether we want to have the disc that's a disc rental mm -hmm. or we do we download it. We download it, we put it on the screen. It's a rear projection screen. And out of that, there's a transponder that sends the signals to car radios, just like a regular mm -hmm. driving movie. But you could send it to something that say has, it was, what picks it up? AM, FM, XM? What uh, FM. 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 So you could pick it up off of a regular radio? Yes. But you'd have to use earphones because other people could hear you. Well, you got to let, let me tell you something. You've been to drive that movie. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I was just wondering. I mean, you still have to pay. Don't yeah, we are going to charge fifteen dollars a car, and you should pay if you come. Yeah, a couple of people come. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking, like you could 
that I tied to. I do. So. Well, most people that bring cars to a drive in bring their lawn chairs. Well, that's true. Or they sit on a. Is there any additional means that you're you were talking about? Uh, it's 32 to so, Do you have any additional uh, cost for the cartoons that you said would be showing? I don't believe so. I, I think so they're, 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 they're packaging that. Okay. I've asked for what that. <laughs> what, what do you want from me? That's fine. I'm pretty stupid. So I, I look, I'm really happy with the way this has gone. And I, you know, the article that we got in the North Allegheny Journal of History, you, us, I think this parking lot's going to be full of cars. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So. Um, we'll save you a spot up front, Mrs. Eisenreich. No, I would walk. That's why I asked. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I asked. You can sit in the back of my car. If you could walk. And use we a chair. There. Oh, hey, there we go. It's a radio room. Sure. Yeah. Radio. Radio. <laughs> <run over here. laughs> um, okay, so the program committee for the gala update, uh, Kevin and I will discuss that. As far there as some sort of special, you need something to send it to yeah. the thing. Yeah, and we could start as well for the next meeting. What are they cost? Yeah. Um, I should also mention that we are having a presentation here next Thursday, uh, the wall uh, with Colonel Joel Dixon uh, from Western Penitentiary. And mm -hmm. that is Thursday, May 25th. Yeah, what time is that? 7 p.m. What's that about? Western Penitentiary. That's close, but yes, yeah. the way it used to be. It's, 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 he, he worked there for 15 years, I believe. He's going to talk about what it was like to be in there. Yes. He said it was like a self sustaining city within the city. It really was. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I mean, I, I was in there three or four times and not as an inmate. <laughs> I was in there three or four times doing security evaluation. And it's, really spooky because mm -hmm. in some of the cell blocks they used to have cell blocks in the basements mm -hmm. and you can still hear noises that you hear you go out and oh, it's crazy mm -hmm. it's very spooky yes it that is one point you play there mm -hmm. too well, this is an abandoned Ooh. the administration always just stay there with the bills okay anyway yeah <laughs> do you know if we have more than 20 now i would have to log in to see how many we have okay how we at least have how did they go with the um, solar panel? Good. They had um, 15 people register last night. I'd say between 10 and 15 showed up. Okay. Um, they were here for an hour and a half mm -hmm. talking. Like all the all the people who were here were very engaged, asking questions, mm -hmm. and uh, the two speakers were were great. Mm -hmm. So they were happy. You have a uh, lecture series, and I, I probably know this, but I'm going to ask him this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's planned out a bit. Mm -hmm. Like, is there, is that it's planned through the whole year. Is that on the website? Um, yeah, our like, tentative schedule of events is on the website. Mm -hmm. um, we only open registration like a month in advance. But all the links are on the website. All the what? All the nights and the topics are on the website now? Yes. Yeah. On the Eric Center's page. Yes. It's, on, it's one of the news items. Under Oh, under it's what? under departments. There's a separate page for the Heritage Center. Okay. One of the news items is just saying, "Hey, here are the events." Oh, okay. Here. It's under news, not yeah. events. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And next month in June is um, historic structures of North Park with Ranger Dagwood McManus. He's mm -hmm. seven o'clock on the Thursday night. Yes. Yeah, they're usually the third Thursday of the month okay. at seven. Yeah, but we may have to do a second one. Like, like the second one. Yeah. 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 And handling the board, handling you know, all the stuff that you're doing, uh, and you're involved in everything. 
I just want to thank you well, for your thank efforts. You. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't do it without the volunteers who come in every week, so we thank them the most. You had four volunteers here today. That Wednesday's my favorite day to be here. That's crazy. Yeah, it's often these days. Okay, uh, public comment. Hearing none, so I have a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second my motion. Okay, all in favor? All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Marion. Oh. How are you? Good, thanks. <laughs>